This video shows you how to log into your Canvas account if you do not have a pre-existing Gmail or Google account. You'll know you don't when if you go to accounts.google.com and that's where you should start, accounts.google.com. Link that below. If you start at accounts.google.com you should see this if you have no pre-existing account. If you see a username and profile information, then you already have a Google account in that computer. And as I say, a, a video linked below will help you through the process of logging in a second Google account. But if you see this, you're in the right video. At this screen, type in your comfsm.edu.fm account press next if you are working f from an email with a temporary password this is where you enter the temporary password and then the next screen will take you through the process of setting your own private permanent password if you are returning if you've, if you've already set up your permanent password but you're on a computer in which you haven't previously logged in on, this is where you'll enter your password. We log into Canvas through Google. That, that I know sounds confusing, but we access Canvas through Google. We use the Google authentication system called Single Sign-On to get into Canvas. We don't log straight into Canvas. We actually log into Google and then we go to Canvas. This is called Single Sign-On and it will eventually allow us to sign into other areas. Eventually, at some point, you'll be able to also sign into your MyShark from this Google account. These are the college accounts. So I'm now in my college uh, Google account. I can see that here. I don't have a profile picture, but I, that's uh, where I can always check the information and I can log out from up here should I need to. I'm going to go ahead and open a new tab here in my browser. And I'm going to log, not log into, but go to Canvas. I go to comfsm.instructure, instructure, T-U-R-E dot com. Instructure is a company that owns Canvas. So it's actually the Instructure website on which Canvas lives. And at that point, I just press enter. Remember, I'm already logged in over here to my Google account. This may take a little time. One of the things that will ask me is which account should I use? This account here, just click on it. I'm telling it yes, go ahead and use that account to log me into Canvas. But depending on, as I say, rainfall, ADSL conditions, line speeds, it may take some time. It may also take a little longer if it's your first time logging in because the browser hasn't yet uh, cached stored some of the more commonly used pictures so this can take a uh, take a little bit of time as you see here for it to get logged in it's now logging in as i say the site hasn't been loaded before this browser doesn't know about the account and so it's still pulling into pieces but there they are now your dashboard may be blank when you first open it up. Faculty have to publish the courses before you can see them. Courses start off unpublished. The faculty have to publish their courses. You do have an inbox though where you can send and receive messages including to and from your faculty and to and from other members of your classes. Uh, and So you'll be able to use that inbox uh, once those courses get published. That's all there is to getting logged into Canvas. If you're working in the library or, or at one of the college computers, when you're done, you'll want to be sure you get yourself logged out. 
you can log out from Canvas, but remember you're still logged into your Google account here. You'll want to also sign out from that when you're done. So you're really logged in two different places. And once you've logged out, then, then you can uh, head on out. That's all this video intends to cover, is to get you logged into Canvas and get you uh, through your Google account. I hope this has been helpful, and I thank you for watching and listening.